and I was a screw up years ago, but I have changed. I want my daughter to have the pleasure of knowing me. I became an international star just a few years ago. Imagine what a disservice it would have been to the world if I had given up. Rogero de la Vega. De la Vega. Rogero de la Vega. Oh, sure. Who should I make it out to? Oh, it's the, oh, it's, oh yeah. Excuse me, miss? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I know. Oh my God. It is indeed me. No, 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 please, please breathe. Just, you know, exhala, exhala, inhala, exhala. It, it happens all the time. You know, it's very hard for normal people like you to believe it when they see me in person. This is real life. My daughter is coming, so I must prepare to step into the role of father. Jane! Where is he? Understand that Rogelio had dreamed of this moment since he'd learned he had a daughter. <clears throat> he wanted to make a grand entrance. One his daughter would never forget. Unfortunately, this was maybe a little too grand. Don't worry. I believe in you almost as much as I believe in myself. Let's practice my acceptance speech. I would like to thank God for giving me all this talent. Hashtag Goro. Hashtag Rogelio, my Rogelio. Hashtag Viva de la Vega. Come, a hug from Rogelio is like a rabbit's foot. Lucky, rare, and soft to the touch. I made a vision board, but I wouldn't think it would manifest so quickly. As father and daughter, we will conquer Hollywood together. Much like John Voight and Angelina Jolie. Only we will not be estranged. And I will be the much more famous one. You will be good. You are my daughter. Talent courses through your veins. That is not true. At my peak, you would have never been able to resist having sex with me. Just look. So effortlessly sexy. I didn't wash my hair that day. Not a drop of makeup. Maybe a little eyeliner, but that's it. Remember to make me strong, but also vulnerable and sexy. Always keep it sexy. Don't worry, I'm very easy to dress. Everything looks good on me, except Peach. I don't pop in Peach. Well, she adores me, and who can blame her, no? <laughs> because I take my craft very seriously, which you can see by my use of the word craft. I don't like to use the term triple threat because it suggests that I'm limited to only three skills. A song that my grandchild will hear at bedtime. Yo no pude tener en mis brazos cuando eras bebé, pero bebé, hoy que tendrás un bebé, podré cargar al bebé de mi bebé en mis brazos, mis grandes y fuertes brazos. Y cuando veo los ojos del bebé de mi bebé, reconozco mis propios bellos ojos. Yeah. You're afraid of heights. That's just crazy talk. I'm not afraid of anything except acne and leprechauns. Leprechauns aren't real. I know what I saw. I cannot Rogelio, believe what I'm hearing. Down. I will not calm down, Xiomara, because nobody eats when Rogelio de la Vega sings. They open their mouth in awe. They scream, they cheer, but nobody eats. I have heard enough. I refuse to spend one more minute on this ship. I will play Don Juan Draper. Somewhat like John Hamm, but very good looking. I didn't realize you were feeling such pressure. I hide my nerves incredibly well. He's one of my most underrated talents. You spend $10,000 on something called smile maintenance? It's worth every penny, no? And why do you own 40 Hermes scarves? I get cold. No, you clearly need to go on a budget. No more of that. But I love New Pants Wednesday. It's a perfect antidote to the midweek floss. No, 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 forget it. 
Rogelio de la Vega doesn't do adorable. He goes big or he goes home to his mansion on the beach. You're doing the right thing, Rogelio. Betting on yourself. I agree. Who better to bet on? How are the scripts? Are they full of passion, intrigue, de la Vega flavor? But most men would feel intimidated by a kilt, but I have been fortunate enough to be blessed with incredible legs. Luckily, I'm an actor blessed with the ability to keep in total control of my emotions. Go ahead. Michael and I want to get back together. To be clear, that's how he was on the outside. On the inside. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, the, oh, the bromance is coming back. The bromance, the bromance, the bromance, the bromance. You don't say. Please, please, don't, don't let me die against a flat background lit by unflattering light. No, not the face. Dear God, not the face. Double seven! It's double seven! Just rejection is so hard, and I'm not equipped to deal with it since it happens so infrequently. What's our favorite pillow talk topic? Well, that and my erotic shadow puppets. I may not be as big a star as Rablo, but add Gloria and Emilio, boom! Basic celebrity math. I will be shooting a full frontal roll next week. Tell the ladies that. My penis is big screen worthy. Well, I understand. But you should prepare the woman for the devastation they will feel once they learn they won't be able to immediately make love to me. I don't want to shock them. Steals for my fan club. Oh, dad put that back. But I signed my name over my goodies. The dose. Now, now. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to feel anymore. Several patients have had side effects. We could have a class action suit Wait, on what? our hands. Where's the rest of the scene? I mean, they caught my penis. Oh my God, they caught my penis! Why would you do that, really? You can just cut away right in the middle of my... Calm down, please! I will not calm down! They never would have done that to Brad Pitt. And I never would have taken a role in this indie hack movie if I'd known they were going to humiliate me by not showing my penis! Would you stop saying that? Why should I? The movie's boring and slow, and it had one thing going for it. My provocative penis. Penis! Penis, penis, penis! Might as well say it, because no one's ever gonna see it! I have a better plan. Which, my friends, brings us here. Pero nada se compara con la encantadora sonrisa de Fabián. De hecho, Permítame no estar de acuerdo con usted. Yup, meet Rogelio's new alter ego. Una disculpa por llegar tarde. Me llamo Judy. Entonces, ¿qué piensas, Judy? Bueno, pues para mí nunca ha habido ninguna competencia, ¿no? Guillermo es el absoluto ganador. Pero nada se compara con Héctor. Ay, ese chico tan sexy. Y con esos abdominales de hierro. Oh, there, Granny. Bueno, pues sí es extremadamente sexy, ¿no? Pero no creen que nosotras necesitamos algo más que solo abdominales. Nosotras requerimos que alguien cumpla nuestras necesidades emocionales. Y Guillermo me daría un largo masaje en la espalda después de una jornada larga de trabajo. Y si le pido que saque la basura, también lo haría. <risa> Chacito, Chao. Eh, disculpe. Señorita. Señorita, deténgase. ¿Quién es usted? Hello? The focus group chose me? Say hello to your abuela for me. And stay away from my daughter. Plan B? More like plan. Blech.
Office parties are so sad. All the fluorescent lighting, heat cake, and all the cubicles decorated with pictures of people, sad, sad children. FYI, Rogelio had a brief office job in 1998. It still haunts him. Oh, we'll be fine. I agree to do a slightly embarrassing overseas commercial. ¿Qué comercial? It is related to digestive issues. It's not important. ¿Qué tema digestivo? Benbidai Bunami. Benzuo Yokoshite. Kibun Yishino Tori. The point is, it will cover the bills. Your wit, your talent, your youthful appearance that rivals only mine. Well, then why don't you do something special? Just the two of you. Yes, mm. that's a wonderful idea. I will go all out. A Sorgelio Extravaganza. Take your hands off my oh. wife, you thieving dumb bastard! I will rip you limb from limb! So much for not letting his telenovela instincts get the better of him. Rogelio, stop! No! I know about the affair! Affair? Brad's my dance partner! We entered a competition! You expect me to believe that? Yes! Hey! Get your hands off my boyfriend! So, so, he, he, he really is... My dance partner, yes. See, I actually think she has a point. Who are you? I am your inner critic and I'm finally out, baby! I've been waiting 44 years to be set free and boy, have I got some things to say! Okay, only 41 years. No! You're 44, you delusional halfwit! You ever heard the theory about famous people? They stop maturing the moment they become famous and you booked your first national commercial when you were nine? Freezer right there, you whiny little thumb-sucking man-child! Are you done? Nope! Your pompous, shallow, materialistic, loud, obnoxious, selfish, irresponsible! Okay, okay, stop it. I can't take it anymore. You're too much. Everything you do is so cute. You were born to be on screen. What's going on over there? You've been posting pictures for five hours straight. Which was true, for the record. Hi there. Yes. It is me. And I have missed you. Um... How do we know each other? Well, we are best friends. And also, I'm Jane's father. And of course, I am Rogelio de la Vega. Rogelio de la Vega. Rogelio de la Vega. So just bring the sexy, okay? Please, I bleed sexy. And remember, you're training the third generation of de la Vega geniuses. I think your heart's all for them. Well, that's ridiculous. I have impeccable rhythm. Huh. I know. The idea that I could look absurd is absurd. Huh. I just did what any caring, handsome, and extremely brilliant person would do. Wow. Great fame in America. I am about to go to a premiere party where my face will be on every poster, every wall, every tablecloth. Reporters will be taking my picture and people will be fainting when they see me. And it's going to be the best feeling in the world. And friends, that's when. Aren't you Rogelio de la Vega? From that show that just dropped, the dude from This Is Mars. Oh yeah, you're hilarious, man. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> it is I. Rogelio de la Vega, American star. Which he will be very shortly, friends. In fact, here's a little taste of what's to come. <laughs>